we're here at the Public Health Department with epidemiologist Kimberly Hernandez, and she's going to tell us a little bit of what she does. How did you select uh, your position in public health? Oh, I really kind of fell into public health um, in a roundabout way. I've um, had a couple of other different jobs before, but I always came back to wanting to help people um, and do it at a macro scale. And so at a community level, uh, public health ended up being the best place to do that. Okay. What job skills are needed in this field? Um, one of the biggest ones to be an epidemiologist is you have to be good at math and understand statistics in particular. Um, a lot of our work is data driven um, and so data analysis is really important. A lot of creative thinking and um, interacting with data and information as well as being able to interpret that and provide that information back out to people. So a lot of communication skills are really necessary um, as well as uh, computer coding. What regular duties uh, an epidemiologist has to do? Um, every epidemiology job is different, so it really depends on where you are. Here at our local public health department, we're um, in the disease control area, so we spend a lot of our time doing analysis of disease trends and outbreak investigations, so that's where we spend most of our days. What has been one of the most interesting situations uh, that you have gone through your job? Uh, we've had many. You know, the, probably the most interesting ones are always the outbreak investigations that we have to do um, because they, you know, they call epidemiologists the disease detectives. And so that's probably the most fun is that you have a situation that requires immediate attention and when you're done with it, hopefully you know how it started um, and how to prevent it from happening again. So we, there's always a new disease, you know, if you go back. Ten years ago, we had um, when West Nile virus first got introduced into California. Um, more recently, we've had Zika in the last year. So there's always something new uh, to learn about and to track down and to work on. So we know an epidemiologist study diseases. Why are they sometimes called disease detectives? Uh, oftentimes, epidemiologists are referred to as the disease detectives because they spend a lot of time trying to find the answers to things. So in a situation that happens, you have a bunch of people who get sick. Um, an epidemiologist will go to see if they can find out what made them sick and um, how it came into that circumstance. So, for example, we have a lot of um, concerns over foodborne illness, where people get sick after eating some type of food. And when they become ill, they get reported to us, and then we try to find out what they ate. So we ask them lots of questions about, you know, what have they had during the few days before them that could have made them sick. And if we have a bunch of people that start naming the same food item or eating at the same location, then we go back a step farther and we go either um, to that food item or to the place where they were and to see if there's a commonality, if there's an issue with the food handling. Um, we look to see if there are food handlers who are ill or uh, we find out where they got their food. Um, sometimes it becomes a much bigger issue where our little group of people here locally who got sick are actually linked with other groups all over the country. And then sometimes it goes, you know, all the way back to the producer, the original person um, who's growing this food or um, taking care of a flock of chickens, uh, for example. And we find out that there's something there that um, has contaminated the food that trickles down to all the rest of us. So a lot of the detective work um, that epidemiologists do is a piece at a time to try to see if we know um, where it came from and how it got contaminated so that we can um, fix that problem and keep it from happening again. What do you like best about your job? The favorite thing about my job is that every day is different. Um, one day you're doing one thing and the next day you're doing something completely different. It's a good balance of working with data, working with people, being in an office, being out in the field. Um, so there's a lot of variety and that always keeps it fun. What is the most rewarding thing working as an epidemiologist? Probably the most rewarding thing is finding the answers um, that can help with some of our problems. One of the biggest things that we're asked to do is to find out the reasons for things happening. And so we take the data and we look at it and we find whatever those common trends are. Um, and so that once we identify them, hopefully we can address them. And so when um, we, we give those that information for people to make policy changes and for individual people to um, choose different actions so that we can have less illness and less death um, throughout the county. So I think the most rewarding part is when we see that change in either people or an entire community um, where they have a healthier life. And we know that we contribute to that in some measurable way.